Spencer, what oh, are you doing? Oh. Man, I'm working. I'm working. Let me work here, all right? Are you working? Man, come outside. We have something here, and I don't think we're supposed to have it here. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was just uh, surfing the internet, trying to look up for a new fancy hose we could use, because one busted. All right. Well, Whoa, what is going on here? We got some sort of parade going on? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It sounds like we had the wrong shipment come and all this equipment, obviously, it's it's, it's not ours. It, it does not look like ours at all. Yeah, it looks uh, like it's for uh, like your Euro uh, European fire trucks or something. This guy looks older than my grandpa right here. Yeah, but they are all like branded for our town. So I'm assuming that these have to go up north to the volunteer stations. There's two of them up there, right? And uh, yeah, I, I don't know. This looks like they're kind of stuff. <laughs> okay, this is actually a lot funner than I thought. So we're going to be driving these awesome fire trucks. Dude, look at this thing it's like a military truck yeah man some of this equipment's pretty cool this can definitely drive over anything this would have been great during the flood yeah yeah this would have been great okay uh could i drive this one please yeah yeah go for it man okay awesome all right everything's warmed up and then wait how come the steering wheel's on the left side i thought it would be on the right man i don't know we're gonna have to ask them some questions when we get there because these things like it's like in between of being like American and not. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having it. I mean, what's, you know, I can't read the sides and I don't know what everything means on it, but they look pretty cool. And I, this is my favorite by far out of the four. Man, these things are decked out in here. Why don't we get this kind of equipment? Yeah, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I wish we could. Yes, give me a tour before we, uh, before we drop them off and head back. For sure. We're going to definitely look in all the compartments and everything. So this is, we're heading to a smaller fire station that's under-equipped, and then, yeah, they're just getting this surplus shipment here. Or are we going to try and get both those new fire stations equipped out? Yeah, so I think what we'll do is first bring these to, like, their bigger station, and then if it, like, gets overfilled, they have this other smaller one that's pretty much just, like, a desk and a shed. Okay. Uh, and that can hold... Oh, like, the volunteer station? Things. Yeah. Okay, nice. All right, we'll be there shortly. Either we're going to take the interstate, we'll see. We'll just, just keep the lights on so nobody gets in our way. All right, we made it onto the interstate, man. My top speed's pretty good, and this thing, I'll be getting 65 mile an hour. Yeah, I'm not as fast as you are, but these are definitely faster than our trucks. Heck yeah, man, this is awesome. So uh, I think it's, uh, yep, next right on the exit coming up here. There we go. I've always wanted to go to these stations to just take a look at them, so... Well, I It'd guess we're, cool. we're getting off here either way. They got construction, man. Oh, okay. So Makes this is our turn. I guess we could go off road in, in this beast. But yeah, this is the turn here. Yeah, that, that's something I was realizing. Like, I feel like any of their vehicles are able to do some form of off road. Yeah, yeah. Way more than ours. Ours are just, you know, city slickers or they stay on pavement princesses. But yeah, there's the police station. Uh, and then the, I forget the volunteer fire station. I think it's the left here, right? All right, here we go. We Garrett, this Garrett, I already think this truck can fit in there. Yeah, so this is one of the full volunteer fire stations that we got up here on the mountains next to the ski resort. This is their larger station. You know that, right? Well, I knew this one was bigger, but I thought it was, I don't even think this truck's going to be able to fit in there. It must be able to. Why else would they order this? Here, let's see. It's high up, tall ceilings. Okay, we might be able to fit, but... Dang, man, it's taking up all the room. Yeah, I guess that's why they have the backup station. There we go. Looks good. Looks good. Okay. Yeah, plenty of room back here to work around. So yeah, this is start. the volunteer. They got all these lockers and stuff here. Plenty of office rooms. Yeah, our station's cooler, man. Ours is cooler, but still, this is pretty nice. It is. It is. I'll give them that. It's better than I was expecting. Oh, yeah, dude. This is really nice. And this is a volunteer fire station. Wow. Oh, they have like a emergency exit over here with like a staircase and go cook a barbecue back oh, here. Oh, I was hoping you were going to say they have a fireman's pole. That would be awesome. No, they don't, man. I don't know why no stations in this town have a fireman pole. Like, yeah, yeah, for we sure. Well, Garrett, before we get going to other trucks, get, let's let's do a quick tour. Show everybody what the heck is in these because they got so many compartments. All right, here we go. Not too sure. Oh, those are oxygen tanks. Okay, yep, oxygen tanks. And I think that's uh, like some sort of air compressor pump. There we go. All those reels of hoses. That looks really good. Open up this back. These are like garages. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. That's a beast. And then you can, yep. I was going to say fold down the ladder. Let's walk up her. And up top, we have another ladder and more like uh, service ports and kind of maintenance on it. And then these two right here is how you fill it up with water. There's a big tank in here. And then there's a cannon up top that, that you can spray it with. That's pretty cool. 
So it stows away like that and then boom, it's up and ready to go. And then it's spraying water. So I think we got some water in this guy, but I better turn it off before too long. But yeah, you can man this thing right here and just spray and pray. That is so cool. Be really good for forest fires. Then on this side, what do we got, Garrett? Let's take a look. All right, so here's more tanks in here, fittings, hoses. And then honestly, this truck, like it's a lot, but there's another truck that I will show you guys that there's so much in there, which is right here, boys. Check this sucker out. All right, Garrett, look at that, man. Even more supplies. You can step up here. I got all these tanks. What's yep, they love their steps on these trucks. That's right. What's behind this door here? Let's see. Bunch of compartments, tools, all that stuff. It's all the way around. There we go. Another, like, that's the control panel for all the water hoses and everything. That's where you connect. Yep. And the ladder drop. Oh, that's a cool ladder. Oh, yeah. I like how that kind of, like, operates. Tucks in, folds. Yep. Nice. This one, unfortunately, doesn't have a cannon on it, but it has a lot more storage room and doesn't hold as much water. There we go. More tools, hoses, and a big old generator right there that we can plug into that comes in handy. Bunch of extension cords, stuff like that. Yeah, this thing has all you need at a scene with the fire. Yes, sir. Well, Garrett, let's head back and we'll pick up the last two and take them to the other station. All right, let's do it. All right, Garrett. What were, what were you wanting to show me in here? Man, just like look at how many seats there are. Like One, two, three, seven seats back here. Yeah, so if you got a full crew or you're trying to rescue people, throw yeah, them in there. Packed in here. Wait, here, let me sit in the back. Oh, yeah, hey. there you go. Here, come back here with me, man. All right. Man, these seats are pretty comfortable. Yes, they are. Looking pretty look good, man. This. But, man, like, our feet are literally, like, touching. Like, if this thing was packed with people. Yeah. It, yeah, it you got to do what nice. you got to do sometimes, though. Let's do a quick tour of these ones because we're doing so many tours of the others. Check out all the seating room in here. Look at that. All those hoses. Oh, yeah. There we go. Even more. Holy cow, dude. This thing is a toolbox. Like, we have all these empty apartments. How do they fill them all up? Yeah, I don't know, man. They got all these tools. You can... It's like uh, it's like one of those snowcat things. You can fit so many people in there. All right, Garrett, this one, I'm starting to open up here, too. This one you said is the best. I think you're right. Yeah, oh, man, yeah. There's everything in there. Th oh, this yeah. Is like Another so generator. Modern. Oh, yeah. A little small one. There we go. That works. That's nice, dude. Look at this side. Here we go. You got all these open. Looks good. Oh, yeah, dude. Okay, just start opening everything up. These, I think these might be the most expensive ones. Well, with the amount that they put in them, for sure. Heck yeah. Holds a bunch of ladders, but we better get heading down the road, man. We got to get this here in about 30 minutes. 20 minute drive. Yep. Put the cover back on. Let's get moving. Perfect. All right, man. Let's kick the tires. Light the fires. Follow me. All right. I'm curious how fast this big guy goes, right? Oh, geez, man. Man, this thing has a loud siren. Turn it down. Turn it down. There's a volume button on that sucker. You can like, yeah, you probably got it cranked all the way up. I was trying to turn on some more lights and stuff, and then I got blasted. Here, I'll turn mine on here. Oh, mine's normal. We'll just keep the lights on. All right. This even has a hitch on it, so if we ever need to pull a trailer or anything, works perfect. Man, I, you're acting like we're going to be keeping these things. Well, I sometimes I fall, volunteer down at the, the station if they're backed up on guys and can't get anybody in. Oh, okay. I do a couple shifts a month, yeah. You don't? I might try. No, I don't. I might Dude, try what a slacker. That. What a slacker, man. Aren't they always calling you, asking for help? No, I'm so busy at the other station. I'm sure you just decline and don't answer. I don't know. Maybe they lost my number or something. Yeah, for sure. There we go. We aren't taking the interstate this time. We figured out this way is quite a bit shorter. We'll stay on her. All right, here we go. This is the other volunteer station. I told Garrett, man, we're going to have to keep one of these vehicles outside. So I guess I'll keep the uh, the older one outside. Don't think we can squeeze them in here? No way, man. No way. You can't even squeeze a bicycle in there. Man, there's plenty of space. Oh, you think so? Ah, uh, maybe, maybe. Okay, we'll see. Yeah, we... Yeah, let's see. Let's fire her up. Like, if it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. But we got to give it the best shot we can. Yep. So this is the other volunteer station. I haven't actually seen this one. It's it's pretty small, but works out good. I think four guys can be living in there if they want. All right, oh, tell, yeah. tell me when, man. Uh, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. You're going to be okay. Oh, okay. geez, you didn't even tell me. I just hit the back wall. Man, you just went like from one mile an hour to 10. Just turn those lights off. And then, yeah, I haven't been in here. Pretty small, but it looks like you got a lot of good equipment. Seems like they it works. Conference there. room. Okay, that door into the garage. Yeah, everybody's got nice tools in there. Then more room up there and stuff. So nice. Okay, I'm going to head back, man. Get back to work. 
All right, you walking? I'm walking home. All right, I guess I'll be doing the same. No, I'll be getting in over here. We'll find him. We'll find him. Just whistle him down. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Hit the like button if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>